Yo, this is Pat Dan and Freaky from Turnstile, and you're at All Points East 2022. Thanks, Marmalade Media. Hey guys, welcome back to All Points East 2022, fresh off the plane. Uh, Pat, Franz and Daniel from Turnstile join us now. How are you guys today? Freaking great. What are you saying, lad? <laughs> yeah, um, so you're on the big, big main stage in just under an hour, just over an hour's time. Um, you excited for your set later today? Yeah, for sure. Can't wait, man. Dude, like, what's it feel like to like be supporting gorillas? I mean, hardcore on the main stage, supporting gorillas, massive festival in the UK, best one of the summer. Like, it's just wicked to see like hardcore going fucking that big. Because like, as a like, you know, I used to go to punk shows and well, I still go loads of punk shows in London. And it's like there's just no one as big as you guys now. You're absolutely the top. So how does it feel to be up there with like names like gorillas? I mean, it just feels like hard work all the time. You know, like. Mm you get to sit back and be grateful for it, but at the same time, you can't stop moving. And as that was a testament to today, like straight from trying our hardest yesterday, travel all day, get in the car, sit in traffic, get to the show just in time Fuck. to give our best shot at it. It's mm. a beautiful day. After Pusha T, right before Gorillaz, I mean, I don't know <laughs> what kind of ridiculous. sandwich that is. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. It's my favorite new sandwich, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> best flavor, best flavor. Speaking of sandwiches, what's your, what's your go-to sandwiches? Because we are uni students, so a, a meal deal or getting a sandwich for lunch is always a contentious menu. subject. Take this one. <laughs> me, me and Frank are salami boys. Yeah, yeah. salami, okay. I rate that. Um, I've been rocking with the M&S, uh, hoisin, no duck, vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's really good. Very nice. Wicked, wicked. Yeah, I rate both of those quite a lot. Um, you, had a, you had a chance to eat yet today? or? Oh. A little bit. On leaving the airport, when we were leaving mm. the airport, it was like, all right, grab something, grab yeah, something. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. yeah, I had a piece of bread with chicken in the middle. I made a hasteful decision, and half my grapes were soft, dude. I don't oh, know. Nasty, <laughs> nasty, nasty, nasty. And I did the classic thing, too, in a rush. I grabbed a bottle of water, classic, thought it was still open. It was like, oh, no, no, I can't, no, I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> act fucking water, man. Oh, not uh, one. I've actually been, like, been dying to ask you guys. It's, like, a bit of an off-piece question, but best riff of all time, like... What is it? Best riff of all time. Could best be hardcore, riff. metal, all anything. Funk riffs, man. Our best bass oh. line was like, whatever it is. Mm. I want to know. Um, I don't know about all time, but I'm going to speak to one riff that really, really talks to me. It's mm. by a band called Trapped Under Ice, and it's a Fuck song it. called Too True. Yeah. yeah. That song hard. rocks. Hard, that's a, hard, that's hard. a straight mosh pit call. Mm. You guys played with them much? I mean, <laughs> the actually, sing not actually really not really, yeah, but right. the singer is the drummer of that band. So I used to sell okay. the merch for them, and, and me and him would spend a lot of time. I'd be watching him play the riffs, but he's a drummer, so yeah, right. I'm looking at the different kind of riffs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Um, two riffs. I'm going to send it real far apart. Yes. So that's all the way over here, mm -hmm. but then another riff that instantly comes by. Dun 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 you wanted yeah. a definition of turnstile, that was it. That From was just it. three yeah. of us. If we started getting everybody else's riffs in here, we'd have world music going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole spectrum, the whole oh, yeah. versatile Amazing. range. Gotta love it all. Um, Franz, I had a question for you. So last time I saw you guys was in Leeds at my university. Oh. oh. And is this go is this going where I think it's going? Pardon? Yeah, where is this going? So you wore a Man United shirt that day. Oh man, go <laughs> Red Devils. Wait, but did you see the back? Every kit's got my name on it. <laughs> every single one. I go to Old Trafford every time I come here. Yeah? And I get a custom kit every single time. Oh, I'm a Man United fan too. Wow, I thought I was about to have to. Yo, we don't right. get much love in Leeds. They hate I mean, each that, other. And did you so. see how good that green was on that yeah. goalkeeper jersey from that kit? It was beautiful, kit? wasn't it? It only would have been better if it was Nike instead of Adidas. That's my only <laughs> gripe. The goalkeeper kits, they're slept on, aren't they? They're, they're quite good. Everyone talks about the first, second, third kits. But yeah. the goalkeeper kits sometimes. I love, I love all of those, but 
to what I love most about the goalkeeper kit is sleeves and mm. playing the guitar with sleeves on is like <laughs> the best scenario. So you don't, you know, blister your arm, your, your sweat makes it get real weird on your wrist <laughs> when it's like resting near the pickups. Yeah. But above all that, go Red Devils. Yeah. Woo. Go Man United. And was there any reason for the number? Was it 27? I think I I remember. mean, I love the number 27. I got a number one. I got a number seven. I got a number zero. Filling out the collection. I got the whole collection. I got a couple Roonies. Yeah? I got a couple. Nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So are you guys Gorillaz fans? Yes or no? Gorillaz? Gorillaz fans. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. So like, we've got a little bit of quick fire round of questions, if that's cool with you guys. Just like yes or no is like okay. I was one of the say other. trivia. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Stump, dog. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with Demon Days or Plastic Beach. <sighs> Who's thinking? Demon Days. Demon, Demon Days. Days. Yeah, it's yeah. classic. I'm, I'm it's classic on that one. Yeah. 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 Um, another quick follow one because you played both this summer. Glastonbury or Coachella? Oh, um, all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one. Hey. UK audience. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it both. Shows right there. Both yeah. shows. Mm. I'll say sitting in the back, I ate better at Coachella. <laughs> oh but okay. I'm not surprised. But it's little things like that. Yeah. yeah. Coachella didn't have the the weird uh si like hippie massage room oh that my somebody it was, was playing. The Zen zone. They called it the Zen zone. Zen zone. Zen zone. The Zen zone. You know? Damn. So the Zen zone was bumping it right back up. You know? <laughs> yeah. And we need to see Kung Fu Kenny at Coachella. Kung Yo. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. So, what's, so what's the general consensus? Coachella over Coachella? I'm going to say go ahead and great tie it, man. Yeah. Great yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, we love, love Coachella. It's, hard, it's yeah. hard to come across a festival. It's, I mean, like, if we're arguing numbers, then I would say Glastonbury is better because it's big numbers. But, you yeah. know, there's, there's pros and cons, pulls and pushes yeah, to yeah. each side of it. And both experiences at each place yielded some things that I never even got to experience at like all kinds of other festivals. Yeah. So I'm, I, w I would give them a big knotted tie on that one. How do you find the difference between a US audience and a UK audience? Cause like, it, is there any really noticeable differences or is it The noticeable difference is hearing in it after every conversation <laughs> in the UK, in it. Oh, <laughs> in it. Yeah. yeah. Why? Okay, okay. It's a very, it's a very fair point. Um, another question we've been asking bands all today: If you had a superpower, what would it be, and why? Maybe we could do one each, or one for all, or the whole we'll band as a whole. Superpower. Oh, collectively, or it like, could be yeah, like, either, either or. However you want to spin the question. Oh, man. Man. I mean, being turnstile in itself is a bit of a bit of a superpower. Yeah. But. First, first thing that came to mind is just damage reduction. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I keep getting injured. So I, every tour, I come back and I'm worse off somehow or i, I go <laughs> I mean, and do one i got bonked in the head like the day oh, we were no. leaving i got headbutted playing basketball at the gym oh, okay. about to had to get some stitches <laughs> if i had the superpower of you know damage reduction just a little bit like that skeleton's a little tougher my skin's <laughs> a little thicker that's all i need i'll be good i'm down with that yeah high key my hips hurt sometimes yeah. when i don't get them ready and if i could just have them back to 100 percent right when they weren't when they were hurting the yeah, worst wolverine mm. healing wolverine healing yes yeah i mean i gotta agree it was like not the sexiest one that came to mind at first because i've been playing skyrim a lot and there's a lot of cool like, <laughs> there's a lot of cool abilities in there that i'd like to have in real life but yeah the wolverine healing would be wolverine healing wow yeah. it could heal everything stomach yeah, hips knees oh, yeah, elbows, digestive health? everything right. dog yeah, for sure. yeah. so i'm a massive mall grab fan the new record's out. It's amazing. Wow. Did you guys also join Brendan on like on the track? Or no? Uh, it's just to, a Brendan we thing. Send, we had to just let man do his thing. Yeah. Wait, were, you, were you in the studio? Or? No, or no. Just it, that thing? was just a them thing. Oh, you know, man. A lot of times, like, our, a lot of our friends play music in, in like, not necessarily will they call on the collective because all five of us do five great different things. Mm. I mean, we all do the same thing, play the drums. <laughs> but we also all five do different things. So, you know, yeah. a lot of different other friends that are musicians will tap individual people for references, for suggestions, for melodies, for their voice. So, I mean, I'm really proud anytime like anybody does something musically on their own, you know, to represent all five of us yeah. on their own. That's strong mm. as heck. It's, yeah. it's amazing that it, it kind of comes down to that. Like, I mean, and you guys are a super collaborative band. I mean, like the features, I, I saw Diplo produce from the tracks on um, Time and Space. Man, he did a right laser now. solo from the future. It was, was crazy. It? Like, it's fucking hard. It's hard as fuck. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Shout out Diplo. Shout out Diplo. I mean, today especially, I know you've only just flown in just now, but it feels like a festival that's very friendly. A lot of the artists have collaborated together. That kind of, it's, it's kind of a, but just what you want at a festival. Like everyone's their own, each own individual, you know, brilliance and talent, but everyone's there to help each other out at the same time. And are you guys in a collaborative mood at the minute as Turnstile as a whole? Is there any anything coming up or any bucket list wishes that um, for tracks or artists you'd like to do things with? Dance. Whether that be music or beyond. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I feel like we're just open to a good idea and a great mm. feeling. Like, I don't think there's any sort of specific person or an act or group that we're looking to do something with. But please be dang sure if the right opportunity knocked on the door and the feeling was through the roof, we're going for it, for sure. Yeah. And uh, wrap it up. Pineapple on pizza, what's your take? Add jalapenos and we're balling. Yeah, I, wait, with the, with the pineapple? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet and spicy. Oh, oh man. A hot take. That's a hot take. Yeah. And it actually is hot. Yo, jalapenos are spicy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> can't knock it. What about you guys? Uh, you know what? I'm down. I, I like don't do regular cheese, so I get like the vegan, vegan cheese. cheese that sometimes tastes like Elmer's glue. <laughs> so sometimes it's really nice to add some other things on it and make it real special. <laughs> what do you say, Pat? Yeah, it, you know I don't order it, but I it, if it's there, I'm eating it. I'm, I'm not changing, yeah. ever turning you know, it away. It. I'll yeah. take it, like you know, a relaxed approach. Like give it a uh, a couple hours to sit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Let mm. some shit harden up. Yeah, mm. okay. Pineapple kind of settles into the like cheese a little, a little bit. outside mm. shower there. Needs to be done right, you know, to, <laughs> to perfection. Are you warming it up in the microwave afterwards? Does that add another uh, dimension to your pizza? I mean, if it's, it, I really don't need a microwave to see pizza ever. Like, if it's cold, it's going down. If mm. it's hot, it's going down. Morning well, after pizza, been left out all night. Come on. Still going? It's That's absolutely. breakfast. Night yeah. After. Like, you know, yeah. after after you ate and got full and then hungry again, yeah, let me yeah. get that last slice. Pizza's the most versatile food of all time. Oh, yeah. I would I will put. That I mean, up. I'd argue it up against like I would put eggs up against it probably almost Large. any day yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. that's just me. Yeah. I used to be allergic to eggs. Yo. Used to be. <laughs> I've, out, I've, out, I've outgrown it. My that's body, amazing. My I'm body t- said no eggs. You can go fuck yourself and. I've, uh, I think about age 10 or 11, I finally outgrew my egg allergy. Dude, I'm, I'm allergic to chocolate, and yeah. I haven't had an allergy test in like 20 years, and I don't know if I outgrown it, but I'm scared to find out yeah. if I did, because I would have my whole insides made of Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm not a fan of American chocolate, but the Reese's pineapple, peanut butter cups. Oh, come like, on. Like, I'm, I'm a Cadbury's over Reese's guy any day, or oh, Hershey's, yeah. but peanut butter cups. Nice. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys found this useful for getting all your food tips, um, <laughs> sandwiches, pizzas, and uh, chocolate. But thank you for your time, guys. Hey, uh, cheers, isn't it? Looking forward to catching. We'll be right down the front in yeah, about yeah, an yeah, hour's yeah. time. And uh, all the best for the rest of the summer and the year. Cheers. 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 See ya. Cool.